Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. So I'm starting today's vlog in the car, which is a bit random. We're parked up outside the Ramada Hotel in Warwick, not for an exciting holiday away, unfortunately, but because it is a vaccination center and Murray is off to get his first vaccine, which is exciting. He had to rearrange it because he actually had to isolate last week when it was supposed to be um, because of a contact. So yeah, it's really cool that he's finally getting it done. Um, we're only 24, so I got mine ages ages ago because I work for the NHS but obviously he's not long been eligible and um, I don't think there's many like vaccination centres around where we live. It's quite busy and someone just pulled up next to me so I'm not going to be that weirdo that like whacks out the camera but yeah so he's gone in to have his first jab. I don't think he really likes jabs but you know he's been a brave boy and I'm waiting in the car because obviously not allowed to go in with people so yeah we thought we're quite close to somewhere called Kenilworth as well um, so we thought we'd go there for some brunch and have a look at the castle there's meant to be a castle there i think i don't know we've not been before so yeah we're gonna do that have an explore and i will take you along with me ah focus 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 um Hello, we made it to Kenilworth. It looks really lovely. We've parked up by the castle. Um, we're not gonna pay to go in or anything. We're just gonna kind of have a look around the outside and find somewhere for lunch as well. It's 10 to 12, so we're parked like near a pub. So we were saying, should we just go to the pub? But yeah, we'll see how we feel. Murray's just gone to get a parking ticket. He is alive after his job. He is alive and well, so that's good. And yeah, we're just gonna do a bit of an explore, which is something that we've been wanting to do for ages kind of around where we live because we're lucky enough to live um, in the Cotswolds. So yeah, we're gonna have a wander around. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, there it is. So we're back and I've made the bed. I've not like pulled it very tight so it looks a bit creased but yeah. This bed is from Georgia Asta by the way and it is absolutely lovely. I definitely recommend it. So yeah, fresh bed in for a Saturday night. Too shy, too shy. Hello, so it is a bit later now. Um, I'm sat outside because Murray was on the PlayStation, which we know means screaming and shouting on the top of his lungs. So yeah, I came outside for some peace and quiet so I could edit a little bit. A lovely sunny evening. We haven't actually got the sun, but I can see it. It's over there, look. There it is, there it is. Oh, our garden gets quite a lot of shade because of the massive oak tree that is growing above me. Oh, tiny bit of sun. But yeah, it's been lovely out here to be honest. Now it's getting rowdy. Now I start vlogging, obviously. But yeah, it's been pretty lovely out here. I've been out here for like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, so yeah, just been doing bits and bobs since we got back. Murray actually had a nap because um, he was apparently very tired. I played The Sims while he was napping and then I washed the bed in, changed the bed in as I showed you and I cooked a chicken because it was going off today. Not hungry, we have those massive sandwiches so I've cooked it and then we can always kind of have it as and when. We can snack on some tonight if we get hungry or obviously we can have some tomorrow but yeah tomorrow Murray's family are coming so I'm not sure how much of that I'll vlog. Um, yeah we'll just we'll see how it goes but this evening's been nice just kind of chilling it's actually five to eight now and it's still so light i mean i know it should be it is the summer but yeah it's lovely i've got washing drying around me which i'm so grateful that we can dry it outside i'm dreading the winter can you see murray inside as well <laughs> but yeah i'm dreading the winter when you have to dry it inside because it's just not the same 
but I'm gonna head inside, check on the bedding, which is currently drying in the tumble dryer, and uh, go for a wee, need a wee, um, maybe have a cup of tea, maybe have a little snack, see how I feel. So yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. So we've started watching The Handmaid's Tale, which we've never watched before. Um, excuse Murray's truck, by the way, don't know why it's in the house. Um, thought we had a rule about that, but um, yeah, who knows. So we start watching The Handmaid's Tale because we saw them watching it on Gogglebox on Awful. And we've just got some foodies. I know we had a sandwich for lunch, but like we didn't really have much else there. So I've got chicken, mayo and cucumber with some mini cheddars and some tomatoes. It's like nine o'clock by the way, so yeah, we're going to eat this. Watch some more uh, Handmaid's Tale. I'm hoping this whole acne thing is kind of a it gets worse before it gets better with doxycycline and whatever cream they've given me because my chin is on fire. Obviously I've just squeezed some so it's not looking its best anyway. But oh my gosh, I feel like it's even worse than like when I went to the dermatologist. It's so sore and so painful all along my jawline. Ow. It's a nightmare. It's really been driving me mad all day. More the pain. Like, I don't really care what it looks like, to be honest with you. I'm past that. Like, I've had to live with what acne looks like for a very long time. But it's just the pain. Oh, my whole face is, like, throbbing. It's horrible. I've just taking my makeup off, which is obviously why it's a bit, like, aggravated. <sighs> oh, my gosh. It's, it's horrible. I really hope it improves soon. I don't know, I'm doing all the things they said, I'm using the medication as directed and I'm, you know, I bought face wash with salicylic acid in it like the dermatologist recommended for my skin so, I don't know, I suppose just gotta trust the process haven't you, but yeah, I just wish it wasn't so painful and sore. But anyway, yes I am wearing Christmas pyjamas because they're actually short sleeved. It's been really like humid and hot recently so I wanted like short sleeve pyjamas. But they do have little Santas and little reindeer on them so you win some you lose some. But yeah, I am in bed, been watching Handmaid's Tale. Like I said we've watched two episodes now and it is dark. Like it is messed up very weird but very good because I want to carry on watching and see what happens so yeah I guess they've done a good job there I know it's really popular so everyone's probably seen it but I'm still not gonna spoil it obviously because that would be unfair yeah we're enjoying it so we're gonna carry on watching that but for now um yeah I'm gonna go to bed so I'll catch up with you in the morning hello good morning I look absolutely mental wow that's nice um but yeah we are up i woke up it was like one minute to eight i was like okay this is not the sunday line i had in mind but i did then lie like on my phone for half an hour so yeah i've got a just kind of tidied a few bits when i got down um and i've just made a big iced coffee but i wanted to talk to you about something else exciting that i've done over the last couple of days which is i went for a walk and I walked past this dance studio in the village that we live in and I've always thought like oh it's probably a dance studio for kids um so I was like oh I'll check out what they do like what um classes they offer for thinking it would be for children but I was like oh, I'll check it out and they did loads of adult classes and you probably don't know this but I used to do ballet for a number of years um I must have been like from the time I was three till about maybe even 16 so we're talking like you know 13 years um I did a few grades I can't I've seen to Murray I can't remember what grade I got to but it was the grade before you go up on point um so I never did point um but all the stuff below and yeah they did an adult ballet class at this dance studio which is literally around the corner in my village so I was like well it's the only exercise I've ever enjoyed like the only form of fitness that I've ever enjoyed has been like dance and ballet so why not for 
a bit of you know exercise and a bit of fun and I might even meet people from the village you know make some friends to go for a coffee with or something um so yeah I was like only good can come out of it surely um it's gonna be a bit embarrassing at first because I have no idea what I'm doing it's been so long but yeah they said they accept like beginners and more experience so it's it's nice to have kind of a range and I emailed the lady who does it and said like I'd love to inquire about the classes and just get a bit more information basically and she said yeah that and she said yeah that's fine like um would you like to come along and do a trial they don't do the classes over the summer holidays so I think she said they've got two weeks left which is kind of the perfect time to come for a trial and then they start a new term in I'm assuming in September or when the schools go back so yeah I think I'm gonna go along for a trial so obviously I'll let you know how it is when it happens closer to the time but yeah I'm really really excited actually I bought um a couple of pairs of ballet shoes this morning I'm I'm so one of those people who's like okay the mention of maybe doing it has happened by all the gear but I tried not to go too overboard and um, so I just got a couple of pairs of ballet shoes I got just the leather full sole ones I got a black pair and I got a classic pink pair so yeah I'm really really excited so yeah we'll see what comes of it and I'll keep you updated this is my skin this morning by the way after kind of oh ow um, letting it sit overnight with the adapalene cream on and yeah still bad so we've been cleaning all morning <laughs> if well all morning and some of the afternoon um excuse if you can hear next door's little mower but yeah we swept well murray just swept the garden and i cleaned up the furniture a little bit cute we do have cushions for it as well but obviously we keep those inside in case it rains and yeah it looks so much better the living room's all tidy we just have to well obviously we're going to sit on the sofa now so it's pointless tidying the cushions have you done a good job have i done a good job we all right dream team Whoosh. dining room's all tidy this cupboard is as tidy as it could be and my mum is making us a curtain tidy because it doesn't have a door weirdly enough did at one point but obviously not anymore yeah the kitchen is all tidy so yeah life is good again upstairs is tidy as well but I can't be bothered to go upstairs and show you around so yeah looking good thought I'd show you my outfit for today as well um apologies not very good lighting hang on let's see if I can shut this blind if um, I feel like the dancing girl emoji even though her dress is red and this is orange but yeah I loved my black Joni clothing dress so so much that I just had to buy it in another colour and the other colour they had was this orangey colour and I don't think I own any orange clothes so yeah I thought I'd give it a go and I really like it I just love these dresses man I could wear them literally every day they're so comfy but they also look nice but they're not like too dressy just obsessed obsessed so yeah it's Joni clothing like I said it's like a midi just below a midi really my knees are like all the way up here so kind of like a mid axi not gonna wear my Birkenstocks out for lunch I'll probably put shoes that are a little bit nicer on but yeah this is the outfit for today Murray's parents are on their way gosh I look pale whoa um Murray's parents are on their way from his brothers they went there first then they're coming to us and then they're actually going on holiday from here um, so they're all like steps along the way. They're on the way and his sister as well, Hayley, is coming too. And we're going to take them to the little cafe, I was going to say eating place, very odd, cafe in the village. Um, we go there, I've probably vlogged it before, we usually like pop there, it's like the nice place in the village that you can pop to thankfully. So yeah, we'll see what I have. Uh, the reason we're going there is because they've got a beer garden where you can have dogs as well and they are bringing their little dog, the little chihuahua Henry, who was also featured in a few vlogs. So yeah, I'll be sure to show you guys him, show you how cute he is, he's adorable. But yeah, they're on their way. Um, I didn't do anything with my hair today. I kind of just blow dried it and I'm regretting it because it's getting on my nerves already. But you know, that is, is what it is. But yeah, let's go see people. Hello, so it is a lot. I thought I had a weird dimple then. 
must be the light shining on my face that's weird um but yeah hello it is a lot later it is 10 o'clock on sunday um yeah we had a lovely day with murray's family and we went out for lunch as i showed you and then we just went for a walk then um they left about gosh what time is it it's like half five wasn't it it's quite late uh, yeah yeah i think it was about half five quarter to six ish and then we've just been chilling, watching more Handmaid's Tale, and we just watched random bit of Grand Designs, like the last 20 minutes, because it was on live. Um, yeah, football might be coming home. We don't know. Currently a draw, as I'm filming this. Um, is that what they call it, a draw or a tie? Uh, it doesn't go to draw. You can't go to draw. Yeah, but it's currently a draw. All right, yeah. Probably One all to England and Italy? Yeah. I'm Welsh. I don't know. I don't pretend to know. I just hope it comes home because I feel like everyone will be happy. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here because um, I am going to bed. <laughs> I can't get my words out. I feel like it's because you're in the room. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I'm working from home tomorrow. So thankfully not too early a start on a Monday morning. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, please do give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. What do I say after? Oh, please do give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget, please do give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.